Hello everybody and welcome back to another video! So in today's video I am doing another LGBT plus kit and I think this is going to be very relatable especially if you are in the community because there are some things that our parents say to us that they don't say to their straight kids. Being a person within the rainbow fam is such a struggle because there are so many obstacles that our parents have to go through such as like accepting us as we're coming out and then learning about ourselves and then learning about like our gay culture and all that stuff like it's a struggle. If you're new to my channel and you're not already subscribed, please be sure to go down there and click the subscribe button so you can be notified whenever I upload a new video. And don't forget to press the notification bell because um, hashtag notification squad. But yes, without further ado, let's get into the video. Whoosh. So the first thing that a parent could say to any LGBT kid before anything else is probably questioning their sexuality. They notice certain things, they notice certain stereotypes, so then they start nitpicking and figuring out if you are or aren't. So Kevin, I noticed that you hang around with a lot of girls. Do you have a girlfriend? What? No. So what, you gay? <laughs> Now at this point, your parents already know you're in the closet, they don't even gotta figure it out, but they're trying to get you out of the closet, so they start hinting at you like, hey, it's okay. Sweetie, I just wanted to let you know that if you ever, ever need someone to talk to and you need a trustworthy person and an open ear, then I'm all here for you. So if you need to tell me something, now's the good time. Oh, um, I'm good. Are, are you sure? Yeah, I'm like real good. Are you sure? Are you sure? Hey Kevin, are you sure? Or do you need me to help you say something? And when you do come out, they have this whole different response and their supportive tone from when you were in the closet changes. Hey mom, um, I just wanted to tell you this and um, I'm gay. Uh huh, yes, that's nice sweetheart. Wait. Yeah, you gay? Oh my goodness, what did I do to deserve this? Is this God's way of punishing me? Are you for real? You are going to hell. You need to go to church. You need some Jesus in your life. Oh my goodness, what is the family gonna think? Now they're in a point of denial, so they start asking you questions, like lots of petty, annoying questions. Honey, are you sure it's not a phase? Wait, what? Are you sure that your rainbowness is not a phase? Like, you know how you used to collect Pokemon cards and that was a phase? That's not how it really works, Mom. They're like, okay, all right, you know what? My son is gay, my daughter's a lesbian, why not? It's okay, nothing's wrong with that. But then they start getting very protective over you. <laughs> oh, Frankie, you're so funny. <laughs> Honey, you and Frankie hang out a lot with each other. Are you two together? Oh, uh, no, he's just a friend. Oh, okay, I get it. I get it. Mm -hmm. Now they start noticing things that you've been doing for a while now, and just because your sexuality is different in their eyes, they start questioning them. Honey, I've always wanted to ask you this, but why do you wear makeup? Are you trans? Oh, no, just because I wear makeup doesn't mean I want to be a girl. It just makes me feel good and confident in my own skin. I mean, if anything, we need to get rid of the stigma that makeup is just for girls. I mean, we should totally just stab the patriarchy. Parents can be a little judgy too, and I feel like whether you're in the rainbow fam or not, like, this is a struggle. Oh no, you are not going out looking like that, sweetie. But I like it, and it makes me feel confident. Hmm, it's a shame that you wear them better than me. You better learn how to walk in them, sweetie. Now it's been a while, they're at a point of where they support you and they accept who you are, and now they want to learn more about you and your culture. Um, honey, what is gay pride? Oh, um... It's like this annual event where we celebrate all LGBT plus people in our community and pretty much all of our hardships and how far we've gotten, um, our existence basically. Oh, do tell. Or should I say spill the tea? <laughs> Isn't that what the kids are saying nowadays? Oh, I'm so hip. You keep me so young. 
all right, all right. So they hit the tip of the iceberg, but they want to go deeper. They want to get to know the nitty gritty details. They want to know everything. They want to know all of the important details. They want to know the tea. Um, Kevin, sweetie, I have a question. What does bear mean? Oh, um, it's like a big, hairy, burly gay guy. Oh, okay. Um, what about twink? Um, kind of like me. Okay, what about yes, yeah, slay, gaga, work it, queen? What does that mean? And finally, they're so supportive that they're a little intrusive to a point where you're like, damn. Okay, I kind of don't like the supportive side of my parents now. <laughs> so Kevin, tell me, have you seen any cute boys lately? Oh, um, no. Why are you asking? Because I'm just concerned that my baby boy is going to be single forever. Oh, mom. <laughs> me too. Alrighty, everybody. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, like this video up. Also, leave me a comment down below letting me know if you are a part of the hashtag Rainbow Fam and any fun or weird or interesting stories relating to you and your parents. I love our community so much. I love our Flawless Fam and our Rainbow Fam. I love how you support one another. So feel free to have a discussion in the comments down below. Um, be nice to one another because it's so adorable. Like, yes, yes, my babies. But yes, I love you all so much. And remember, everyone, to be flawless is to be yourself. Bye!